So guys, welcome to one of my best videos ever. We surpassed round 100. We did it. Now this is what you talk about a grind. We actually continued playing past round 100 too. So I've got even more high round gameplay to show you. But this, I'm just going to show you the round 100, 101 gameplay. Because this was an absolutely epic grind. And I'm so glad that I could take Shadows of Evil off my list. I don't know if I'll be returning to this map. But towards the end, I was kind of losing the will to live. Because man, it gets repetitive. And I ended up ending the grind at 4am. But I would love to give it another go. But I think, you know, that's my time on Shadows of Evil for now anyway. Because the new DLC for DLC Map 2 has already been leaked. And I want to try and get to round 100 onto Eisendraken now. It was a lot of perseverance, a lot of determination. But we got there. We used the same strategy that I always use in my other videos. Whereabouts, it's kind of just basically a camping strategy utilising the power of the sword. And you just basically stay by the waterfront area. But it's when you start hitting the round 80s, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so close to 100. But I'm so far. Do I just give up or do I keep going? You have to get a really positive mindset. Luckily though I just had Netflix on was just chilling so it wasn't as bad as what it could have been but it was such a patience test like and I was also so scared of getting disconnected I was like oh my gosh we'll have to get disconnected and all of this is lost but luckily I've got loads of recording done loads of amazing gameplay so I do hope that you guys will enjoy. I did end up using the flag so that you could get max ammo and that helped so much but this map is definitely the best map out there it's just the getting set up is a pain like you need to get Lilani's oh my gosh it took me so long to get Lilani's but then it's the best feeling ever once it's set up and you can just start grinding for the rounds. You get a stupid amount of XP as well. I gained over 33 levels in this game. But you know what? I've been saying, right, I want to get into the 80s, want to get into the 90s, and we just completely surpassed the 80s and 90s. Who needs them? We just got right into the 100. And it looks absolutely amazing. Once you just see the 100, it's like, oh my gosh. You just feel good because you know that not a lot of players have been there. I just wish that I was kind of playing local because if I was playing local, then all I would have done is I would have gone to bed and just left it on and not be fearing of getting disconnected. But then again, I won't be getting any of my XP and stuff towards online, so it's kind of a hard decision to make. So whether do you want to go for an absolutely mad round on local, or would you rather get it all saved and everything on online? So I do hope that you guys have been enjoying the background gameplay. As you can tell, it's actually pretty straightforward. It's just the same strategy over and over again. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and comment. My next video, we're going to step it up an extra 10 rounds. And if you guys would like to see an entire full round gameplay, no commentary, no no cut gameplay, just completely the full round. Be sure to tell me in the comment section. Can we get some hype in the comment section? And I'll hopefully see you guys soon.